So when I first watched his videos, the first thing I remember watching was a review of The Secret of Nim 2. And I love that because that was a movie I used to watch when I was a little kid. And I remember it was fucking horrible. I was like, oh my god. Holy shit, it's so worse now than it was when I was a kid. So I'm so glad he batched this film because that was one of the worst films of my childhood. So because of his opinions on the film, I could easily relate to what he does. So that's why I ended up falling in love with, not just with his films, but then I fell in love with other uh, movie reviewers on YouTube who are just like him, like The Necrocritic or or TAS Productions or um, The Hardcore Kid, that guy's awesome. Or um, Animat, or of course my most personal favorite, uh, Cinema Snob. I mean, I mean Brad Jones, I mean he's a great guy. I think the first time I watched his video was a review when he did on Return to Super Camp, which I will say is personally the worst horror film I've ever seen in my life. And I'm so glad he bashed on that film because he, what he said is so true. I was said the same exact things that he was said because I remember when it first came out 10 years ago, I was so fucking mad I thought I was gonna hurt someone when I first saw this piece of shit. I mean, I don't mind the, I mean, I do really enjoy the first uh, Sleepaway Camp movie because I've seen it when I was a kid and I consider it as a classic. But anyways, not to get off track, I'm just letting you know that I end up falling in love with movie reviews because of people like that. So because of the stuff that they do for a living, I just realized I want to do something like that because as you should know, I love movies. And if for those who don't know, the reason why I want to go to MCAD next year is because I want to get a career in both filmmaking and animation. So I want to have a double degree in both different fields when I get there someday. So the thing is, filmmaking would be my majority and the animation would be like a little side project or it could be like, you could say it's like my signature or my minor career while the major would be being a film director or producer and a film writer. So those would be my major goals for my future career because such people who are my personal heroes would be people such as Steven Spielberg, for example. And I think he's pretty much the first person I ever appreciated before I end up changing my mind of what I want to do with my future. Because when I was a kid, I always dreamed about being an astronaut. Because I was into science fiction, like Star Wars or Titan E, for example. But I guess, you know, ever since I have very good artistic skills in drawing because I watch movies all the time. And I love the idea of how people can make movies through special effects and all that stuff. And the fact that Steven Spielberg was really popular at the time, like over a decade ago, I just realized all that stuff inspired me to do filmmaking because I want to make things come to life because I'm so creative. I could do anything with it. I mean, I don't know if my career should be drawing or something, but I realized filmmaking is something I am would be good at because I used to have a camcorder as a kid. I would make whole movies in my basements all the time. And I would do stuff like that back in the mid-2000s. So, either way, I knew what I wanted to do with my life in the future. That was a dream I had when I was a kid, and I never let that go. So, I realized what I knew what I wanted to do with my life. The first thing I decided I wanted to do with YouTube is, you know what? I think it's pretty much confirmed. I'm going to start planning on making movie reviews. Yep, that's right. I have decided before I get into a career in both film and animation, I am just going to start creating my own YouTube uh, series by making movie rants and reviews on all the bad shitty movies that are out there. Maybe some would be already been covered and others have not been covered, whether they are popular or underrated, whatever the case. I will focus on all different genres of different films, whether they're old or new, local, foreign, doesn't matter. I will review any movie that I've either have seen from my life or my childhood or movies I've never seen before. So it's just 
bad movies in general. I mean, I'll talk about a few good ones here and there, but so far, I'd rather just take the route of the cinema snob and the such a critic route for now. So, I will consider doing that in my future videos. I mean, I don't know what else what to say at this point, because, I mean, after everything I've been through, I guess maybe this might be a sign for me to start all over, because... I mean, sure, my videos have been on that channel for so many years now, it's never been updated. But maybe this should be a good thing, because guess what? I mean, sure, I lost all my subscribers because of this horrible person who ruined my life because of it. But, you know what? I guess it's good to do it all over again. Sorry, I thought I felt someone coming in. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I'm still home alone, and I don't know who's here, but... I think I'm still alone, but anyways, um, I just really hope my future will be great. I know it's going to be great, but when it comes to YouTube, I really hope I get as many supports as I can. Because after everything I've been through, I think I deserved everything I had to go through because of something like that. It would be greatly appreciated if I have all my old subscribers back. Who might be my fan someday because if anyone who loves me reviews like the people I described here I definitely recommend checking out what I have in store in the future for this year or next year once I'm available again I won't be posting anything for this month or next month until everything is figured out first because I have to deal with college for now so if you want to keep updated with me of what's happening with my YouTube channels Believe me, I will always be on Facebook 24-7. So please keep in touch with me and I will announce what would I do with my YouTube videos and how I'm going to plan this out. And I will let you know when I am ready. I don't know when, I don't know if it's going to be the next few months or during winter or spring, but whenever the case, I will let you know. So, so yeah, I guess the only thing that comes to my mind right now is that, like I said, I will consider making movie reviews in the future. But not only that, but I might also consider making a top 10 list on different films, on different specific uh, subject matters, like what any reviewer would ever do. Because I love that kind of stuff, because I'm very educational. So I love informing people and giving up my knowledge on things when it comes to a top 10 list. So I think I have a good excuse to share my thoughts on all sorts of things whether it's good or bad. And not only that, but I might do maybe different challenges. Like say, like I'll do a food challenge. Like say, maybe I'll eat the world's highest peppers. Or I will go to a local hunter location and do an investigation and stay overnight or something. But whatever the case, I think I will try and see how it all work out in the end. So for now, please keep in touch with me on Facebook. Because there's no better way for me to describe this. But as for my art page... I have posted a lot of my uh, drawings from my last semester when I was in drawing one. So all of um, 14 of my drawings, sorry, I think I have made more than 20. So a lot of them are still on there. But I was hoping that maybe this year I will be uh, uploading um, all of my older drawings from my childhood because... Like I said, I started to draw when I was three because back then I couldn't really talk till I was five due to my autism at the time. So I would draw and write as my way of communication. But because that was something I was used to back then, it became a growing strength for me. And so it became not just a hobby, but it became one of my biggest strengths throughout my life. So you could say I was a child prodigy when it comes to drawing. And I've always continued drawing throughout all my life. And I'm trying to advance myself and better myself and to improve on my skills over the years and I have reached this point and you want to see my process I will post them and then I might later post some of my older school projects from from preschool to high school so I believe I still have all my old drawings still but I but then again there are still some of my other projects that are still stored away in other family homes because like I said most of my old projects are still here throughout my life, but a lot of the other projects I made throughout my life, however, they're stored away, not here in my home. They might have been kept in my other family members' places. Like, 
at my mom's place or something. Again, I don't live with her. But that's a long story. I don't want to go into that detail. It has nothing to do with this. But either how I will post as many drawings as I can. Maybe once I get rid of all my old childhood drawings and my old high school projects or middle school projects or even elementary school projects or whatever. Um, I might eventually might get back onto DeviantArt to make my own original drawings eventually. Whether if I'm in college or if I'm done with college, whichever the case. Because I have decided that I might consider, uh, want to do like commissions or requests on certain drawings. Because I don't know if you knew, but I do have a thing for, uh, you see, when it comes to Divin Art, you know there's going to be all kinds of weird, weird, strange stuff on there, right? You know, how the engine is weird. Well, it's not a lie or a mystery to say that DeviantArt is known for their, well, DeviantArt, like, like sexual fish drawings and that kind of stuff. But I will admit, I have done stuff like that before in privacy because I never showed them, but I used to do it for myself when I was younger. But I decided I might consider doing some... Uh, finished drawings maybe in the future. I'll wait for another year or two until I feel confident enough For those who don't know I like ammo transformation drawings if anyone who ever heard of that before So for anyone who's into DeviantArt, I might consider doing a request for anyone who wants to do it Like if you know people like Gil Panda for example, who by the way is a internet artist who does web comics and uh, furry drawings, I might do something like what she would do Sorry, or he would do, because I know he's a male. I know from research. But anyways, that's kind of my point here. I might do that in the future, don't know when. But right now, I'm only focusing just on Facebook and college. And as of now, I'm going to try to plan my YouTube future um, videos eventually. Hopefully, maybe next month and see if I get things organized. And hope I have enough equipment, because right now... I'm still in the, um, I'm still like in the working in progress right now. So I'm kind of like so self train myself to become a professional movie reviewer and a film critic. So I need to train myself through WikiHow and other articles or maybe look up uh, like uh, trivial videos on YouTube to see how I can prepare myself because I still need to know what I'm doing, especially when it comes to. Uh, controversies or having uh, opinions or having your own criticisms on certain materials whether it's cartoons or movies or music or whatever I need to know what I'm gonna get myself into before I sh ever share my opinions because there's the subjective opinions and then there's the opinions of the general audience so I need to balance between the two so I don't end up becoming biased because if there's one thing I hate are biased opinions. And I don't want to be one of those people to say that I'm right or you're wrong because I respect anyone's opinions as long as they are valid. But either way, this is all I have to say for now. And um, yeah, I think there's nothing else for me to talk about. So yeah, this is all I wanted to say for now. Like, just to remind you again, I will be back on here. I will consider uh, gaining some ad revenue and see if it works out. Then I will consider, maybe I might start a Patreon page if I could, if it works under my own time schedule because I don't want to overwhelm myself because I got too much to deal with. But either way, um... Try to keep in touch with me on Facebook as much as you can. And just remember, please don't befriend me as of now until I feel like I am ready until I start reaching the YouTube fame. You can make comments. You can like my posts anytime you want. And that's perfectly fine. So if you're going to DeviantArt, be my guest and try out for yourself. Because the links are on my Facebook page and you can just check out anytime you want. So I think I will start... Uh, posting my old drawings on DeviantArt maybe in the next month or so when I have free time or if I have break or something.